Hey, what's up, guys? Pitfall 7 here, back with another reaction video, and I've got a guest today. Hello, it's Emery Stroud, the Clockwork Stingray, here as always after our last masochism. <laughs> <laughs> Except this is a masochism. Thank this is something God. we've actually been looking forward to for a while. Yeah, even though I'm completely terrified of this at the same time. Oh, same. Episode 1 of Has Been Hotel. I liked the pilot. Oh, yeah, I mean, the pilot was great. I mean... It was, I mean, the whole reason my whole friend group got me onto it, and we were so excited. So let's hope that this lives up to better standards than what the pilot did. Oh, yeah, because the pilot, and the pilot, from everything I've heard, is actually still canon for the most part. Let's hope. So let, let's see. Let's check this out, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go stream this, by the way, guys. <laughs> Let's hope you don't have to censor anything in this. Where this is a actual show, not like on YouTube. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as Heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light, angels that worshipped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation, but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven, for they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the notice, universe in their ways. Notice how she from the said dust the of elders Earth, of heaven, not Adam God. and Lily, equals as the yeah, first of mankind. Yeah, that's different. Okay. This, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Hmm. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order Heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, Heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. Only the cruel and the wicked, ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream, but Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs, and as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, Heaven made a truly heartless decision, that every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure wow. hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the Princess of Hell. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. Charlie? <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. I was right there. Sorry. I get pretty worked up after an extermination Why happens. Why does her hair look like an ear? The story helps. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. I enjoy your theatrics. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just thinking, you know, family stuff. I love their new Did voices. you hear from your mom yet? Fun fact, I haven't seen the pilot in so Oof. long. I forgot what their voices originally were. Not that I long. I recently rewatched it because it's just like, why not? In preparation. Years Fair off enough. doing Listen something important, I'm sure. But this kingdom Attic was something was she song. really hmm? cared about. I thought we became friends. Something oh, I care about. Oh, yes. Well, that solidified the day. At least you aren't alone. I just hope what I'm trying to do here will work. It will. I have faith in you. Aww. All right, come on. Hmm. Alistair says he has something to show us. Or so they already know Alistair. This takes place after the pilot. That it does. Well, hello there! 
are you, wayward sinner? Do you like blood, violence, and depravity of a sexual nature? Of course you do! That's why you're in hell! But what would you say if I told you there was a place to stay that had none of that? Welcome to the Has Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption! Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter, Charlotte Morningstar! Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands as she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you. <laughs> we offer fun wow. things, such All as right. somewhat functional staff and 24-hour pest control. Custom rooms and just look at this tacky parlor. Enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident. Wow. All this and more that has been <laughs> it makes it one though. Oh, now we don't, I don't care. We still don't have a working phone. <laughs> so, what do you think? I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? Uh, yeah. One note, Alistair. I mean, first off, thank you so He's much a radio for making host. this Why did he have a seriously amazing. I, but um, I don't know. Maybe the tone is a bit off. We oh, want people God. to want to come here. This makes it look um bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Funny, I was going for hilarious. It didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. Vaggy is right, Alistair. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement so i had a little fun with it oh fun you had a little fun with it well this is not what we want to okay. represent us when you showed up here a week ago you Wait, told us you would they, help run this that hotel Lilith instead you're mocking us nobody's gonna want to come to a now place that a powerful that overlord like you thinks is a waste of time i've been dealing with all this what probably. if and you're I... filming a commercial can i suggest you take better advantage of that talented celebrity you have right here angel you're a porn star. A famous porn star. I'll have the horniest sinners knocking these walls down to get it. <coughs> we are not I'm filming sorry. a porn as a commercial. Why not? Sex sells, don't it? I swear, if yeah. you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. <laughs> Never going to happen. Angel, I appreciate you. I remember when I used to be able to make a voice. Special skills. It's how he, it's old voice. Attract folks to That's how he created the voice that I had because it developed I into it really like a 1920s race voice. To announcer. You. In that way. Oh, please, baby. This body was made to be exploited. I got the arms. I got the stamina. I got the legs. I got the lung capacity. Oh, I got the legs. The gag reflex, the holes, the chest fluff. Everyone thinks uh, of tits. What the The chest right fluff. Everyone I can keep going all night, baby. Hello, Dad? Hey, I have a question. If Freaky Face over there is so powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me, I can. Why do you think I'm here? You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time if you wasn't forcing me? I like being forced. So keep that to yourself, Nev. What? <laughs> you don't love being here with me, Whiskers? Call me Whiskers again. I'm I'll sorry. Jam Anytime I, down your I need to pause this for a minute. Anytime I hear Keith David, I can't help but. <clears throat> Here, the president from Rick and Morty. I didn't make that connection. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bro. Kinky. Come oh, on. Fuck up, Angel. Fucking dirty. <sighs> Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't for force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. I'm choosing to be here, and I think it's all stupid. We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent-free. Crack is expensive. <laughs> yeah, Fucking I, I can. Totally. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. Huh. Yes. Yes! <laughs> ah! Holy shit! Ah, what? <laughs> <sighs> What's going on? 
My dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But, but the extermination just happened. <sighs> what could they want this soon after? I can do this somehow. I know it. I'll get heaven behind my the plan. Like Charlie, hold on. Music. There's just no way. I remember they. I remember I they released it. this. Before, Not this once in well a before the episode even I've heard this before. I keep, I keep getting minds, like music on and YouTube touch their hearts from this or show. Whatever and I do not angels watch it have. This could yeah, be bad. I've only, Cheer up, I admit, I've only ever heard this, this one in Poison. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. Is she? Oh, she's dancing. Oh, uh, no. There's a warm, fuzzy <laughs> feeling that walks through the <laughs> air. Every street so revealing it's hard not oh. to stare. Oh, oh. oh. So no. That might need to be censored. <laughs> you don't mind I'll look at other husband reactions and see. It's a happy day I mean, nothing was shown, hell. but like... I know, but it's kind of Fuck yourself! There's an endless trash fire that's burning my soul. Hello! A ton of barbed wire to shove in his hole. Uh, excuse me. What is required? Oh, we all have our role. I'm not David doing well. I mean, I'm it makes sense to use actors like that. Right. If I can show them the dream I've dreamed that any soul can change. Those oh, angels mind their hearts will change. Everyone can be redeemed from the evil to the strange. Their bloodthirsty and deranged. I can hear all their stories, the lost Never and displaced. And I know that what they're more of an acquired, acquired taste. There's a chance I open the door that. and I give them a place at my <laughs> has-been hotel. It'll be a happy day in hell. Okay, I like the switch up. From the porn studio, where the cinephiles go to watch award-winning TV and hockey shows to the gym okay, hotel, where they don't wear a crown, cause holy shit, oh my god, why? Uh, and I don't care, uh, oh, that his brain's got in my eyes, cause I know I can spare them, casual cannibal. Kevin's genocide, I'm losing, I just know that I'll get heaven behind my my parts uh, no well, thank you i'm just gonna fulfill my destiny bitch. i can already tell <laughs> all right Today disturbing fact time all right so snails will joust with their genitals until you they stab one another He's a very specific type of sea snail. So she just got offered to touch a spear, quite literally. Continuing on. Hello? 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 Very creepy, yeah. Oh, okay. Also creepy. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? What's up? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Charlie. My dad asked me if I could meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, uh, Alex Brightman. it's nice to meet you. Totally. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Ah, I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Good shit. Uh, so, wait. You aren't here? No. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. But it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is just so, you know? <laughs> Ew. Right. So, I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been working on that I really want to talk to you about. Hey, 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 slow down. We got time. How about we get to know each other a little? Mm, how about some lunch? You hungry? I got you. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thanks. Also not there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you again, bitch! <laughs> Fucking hilarious! <laughs> 
Okay, so Charlie's dealing with something very important, so while she's gone, we are making a new commercial, one that represents her vision and what we're doing here. So, we need a camera. Alistair? A video camera? Uh. All right, let's do this. And action. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? Well, I've been a bad boy, and what I need a big, up, strong Angel. daddy <laughs> yeah, to put me in my <laughs> On the path to redemption. <sighs> well, you come. Oh, yes. To the right place. Cut. OK, Angel, I need you to be less horny, if possible. And Hus, can you maybe not have the script in front of your face? I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could improv this shit, baby cakes. <laughs> Whoops. Hus, come on. The so I was playing this gig, and for some right? fucking reason, this virtue chick kind of was digging on the drum. I wasn't even paying attention to him. Do you know who I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original dick. All dicks descend from me. You think you want drummer dick? No way. I'm the dick fucking master. <laughs> so, anyway, and we fucked, and it was awesome. What'd you do this weekend? Wait, your name is Adam? Like the first man, Adam? That means you. Oh. That explains so much. I know, I fucking rock. <laughs> well, Adam, <laughs> sir. Mr. Adam, sir. Call me Dick Master. Uh... Adam, you seem like a smart, well, stand up guy. Uh huh. And I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary, a, a genius. I mean, your words, babe. Who would really love to put his name on something? Fucking love putting my name on shit. Shit's the best. It's a solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. <laughs> no, our other Adam, biggest problem. That was syphilis. Oh, uh, ugly people? Math. Math, Global yes. warming? No, wait, that's Earth's problem. Um... Earth's problem. <laughs> All right, Nifty. 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 Your line is, we have the cleanest rooms, okay? Got it. I'm ready. Action. <laughs> I... <sighs> Nifty. Oh, no. Uh... Cut. How was that? Well, Nifty. Nifty, you actually have to say the line. So, let's roll again. Okay. Action. Straight to Hypnototo. Probably. Vagina. Cut. All right. Uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. <sighs> Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there. Hmm? Oh, you step in there. Well, why are you even here? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Like you are doing now. Good job. And here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that... Ah! Oh, God. I wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. I'm glad they kept that. That's right. it. I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're gonna make this work. Because it won't be so entertaining to watch over an empty hotel, will it, shit ass? Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. <laughs> you think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. That's fine. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. I like I like fine. that they kept that detail from the pilot. Mm -hmm. Where they um now then. All right, everyone, let's make a fucking commercial. You know, when you take her out for the fifth time and she still expects you to pay the check, but you're like, hey, I thought you wanted equality. No, our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Oh, well, that's not a problem. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Gotta go 275 this year, sir. 275? Whoa! Badass! 
ass. Awesome mm. job, Danger Tips. This is and definitely it. a different uh, yeah. depiction awesome. of what Heaven and Hell are Those are my people. Like, right? You know that, right? Oh, but this is yeah. interesting. I like this a lot more now. That must suck for you. <laughs> I've never actually These minded Viv's um, human souls just the inter same as the ones you have up in heaven. heaven. Oh no, it was always good to begin with. They had but seeing chance, it on they earned this damage. side of things, You're focusing wrong. on it more, Sinners I find made it mistakes, sure, but better everyone than what makes Hella mistakes. Boss does, right? Angels don't make mistakes. You really think that? I know that. Yeah, I've never made a mistake in my fucking life. The only reason you're still here is because Daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. How does that feel? To know how little you matter. Oops, almost out of time. Guess we should get into it. Oh, fuck! Ugh, ugh. Okay, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before, so here it goes. <clears throat> I know Hell's population is out of control. It's a bad situation. It's taking a toll. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has-been hotel. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, extermination. I know you guys fly down just to kill once a year, and it must be annoying to schlep all the way here. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. You can wave at your farewell. It'll be a happy day. Let me stop you right there. Oh. Save us all precious time okay. if what you're suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder oh they'd rather cross the pearly gates well, uh... sorry sweetie but there's no defy in their fate because hell is forever whether you like I it or not i actually have very rarely heard how it's better now not they not boil in the pot because the rules are black and white it. there's no yeah. use in trying to fight it they're burning for their I lives until we kill them just try to chillax, babe. You're wasting your breath. Did I hear you imply that they don't deserve death? Are they winners? Are they sinners? Cause it's cut and dry. Fair is fair, and I for an eye. When all said and done, there's the question of fun. That's a word they've avoided in the next one. Oh, wait, can you... How did it go? Did they listen? Oh, uh, they sure did hear it, but, um... Oh, come here. We have something exciting to show you. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. I pulled a few limbs, too. <laughs> Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah, one of my better performances, if I do say so myself. That's... That's amazing. Shh, it's starting. <laughs> Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Breaking news in hell today. We have just received word from the heaven. God damn it, Blitz. The extermination is happening sooner I know than it's Brandon, ever but before. I know Blitz. Do you know what that means, Tom? No, what does that mean, Katie? It means we're all royally fucked. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. We should just go down there now and destroy them. No, no. We can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Ooh. That was the ending? I guess so. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I fucking can't. That was the fucking ending of the first episode. I thought we had another 10 minutes. Same. I was just waiting for this to go on more. Bento. I just 
just wanted to see if there was an after credit scene. I don't. Well, I, there's still like a... Oh, no. He's addressing yeah, it. Yeah, it's nothing. It's just final credits. Okay, so... The fuck? All right, so as I said earlier, I like the twist. The twist around. We always see it that heaven is holy, and obviously it still is in this world, but it's not... It's pure. not as cut and dry as it is in human mythology. Right. So They're not afraid to say fuck. They're not afraid to say the C word. I've never even felt comfortable saying that word. Oh, I say that all the time, but that's I, because I'm Scottish descent, so I, I have an excuse for that. But, yeah, no. Um, that was... That was awesome! That was really good. I totally forgot they killed an angel in the beginning pilot, too. Oh, Wait, they did? That's what that was. They killed no, I don't remember them killing an angel in the pilot, though. I recently rewatched. I can't remember. Well, they must have, clearly. But Well, no. We, we gotta remember. The pilot took place after the latest extermination. Right. So why is that body there? Actually, no. Never mind, because this took place after that after the after that extermination. I remember now. Yeah, because because they had like three hundred and fifty eight days. Yeah, because till the next extermination. Yeah. Now it's dropped down to one hundred and seventy five. They, they moved it up because Charlie's trying her best to save people. Oh boy, this is this is something. I'm interested to see how this is going to be going now. This is going to be. Very interesting, I say. I'd say so far it's been worth the wait. Oh God, yes, one hundred percent. Like, I, I just, uh, admittedly, part of the reason this this is, took us a while to get to is because we were kind of worried that it would what ruin Helva for us. Yeah, like because m making a TV show on its own is a very tall order. I'm working on a project that I figured wasn't going to be the easiest, but. I knew it wasn't going to be too difficult, but as I got deeper and deeper into this project, which will not be ready for at least a year at, at this rate, my project isn't anywhere near as complicated as putting together a TV show. Mm -hmm. They work on Hell of a Boss, which is realistically a TV show. It just hasn't been picked up by anyone. They put it out on YouTube, and we, the fans, support it. Exactly. But, like... Holy crap, they did good. I hope that the resources that go into the has -been Hotel do not take from the resources of Hell of a Boss. Right. I will admit there there was a couple points in here where the humor was a little eh. Like, I love Alex Brightman, but Adam, at least in this episode, was a little bit... Mm. Yeah, toxic masculinity thing. Like, I just dealt with that on I, Baldur's Gate 3. I don't want to deal with it here. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry, it was funny, but still not the biggest fan of the Call Me Dick Master. Yeah, that was a bit much. And I guess that it, a lot of people will blame Viv's writing for that. That that seems more akin to Brandon Rogers' style, because mm -hmm. that's kind of shit that we would get from from the beginning episodes of Helleva. Oh yeah, Definitely. So I I didn't see the I didn't fully see the credits because we were reeling over the fact that the episode was over. Yeah, no, that was that but was. I don't know. Thing. I don't know if Brandon's also part of is Brandon's also part of the writing team on here because obviously he's the voice of Katie Killjoy now, and my God, is it obvious? I only heard Blitz. Mm -hmm. No, I I have a feeling where like a lot of the cast are so intertwined like that that they probably are part of like maybe not the writing but. No, they're not part of the storyboard, but they're probably part of the smaller bits of writing. Like, right. they're probably allowed to improv just a little bit. I know when I acted in high school, I did that all the time, and we oh, do that ourselves. I mean, when I when I acted with uh, <coughs> with XVU in a lot of his videos, we had bullet points on what we wanted to get get said, but we improv to ninety nine percent of the crap we said. We just had the bullet points. Oh yeah, definitely. So, but yeah, that. God damn it. <laughs> and one thing I will say about this, and maybe it's because a series is going to be shorter than like a normal TV series, they don't start off with just like random episode stuff. They have already jumped into like the story of like, oh, hey, there's, we've, we know who the main antagonist is going to be for this series being Adam. Mm -hmm. So like it, they jumped into that right away. It does it. make me wonder if, obviously we know that, the angel is 
go down and do the extermination. It makes me wonder if all of the angels up in heaven actually agree with that. I have a feeling they're not angels. I don't know. I have a feeling that... Well, they might be angels. What it might be is um, the middle ground. They might be uh, souls that are in purgatory. I don't know. Because, well, like... No, that wouldn't make sense because at, because Adam's the lead, Adam is the lead angel for that. He is the lead angel, but he's obviously in heaven. What I think it is is the souls that are in purgatory are basically being given a chance to get into heaven or like or like um um what what am i trying to say this right so i don't sound offensive uh we're like uh segregation back in american history where we segregated black and whites uh they might be like that where they're allowed in heaven but they're not treated quite equal so you might be right there now that i think of it but obviously we won't know until we get there Right, because this is only episode one, and at the time of recording this, on the 28th of January, the first six episodes are out, so. Mm-hmm. So, we'll do this little by little as we want. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Subscribe to Gary and the John AC Hacks like Isaac Flows with the links in the description. Uh, Follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pitifulla87. Clock's going to be in the description as well. Mm-hmm, even though I don't upload anything because this other project's taking all of my time. Once that finally gets done, I will be so happy and so proud of myself. <laughs> so, yes. But yeah, I'm Pitfall A7. I'm Emory Strat, the Clockwork Stingray. And we'll see you guys in the next Has Been Hotel Reaction. Peace!